in this garden. My tomato plants are looking really good. I believe these are both orange hat tomatoes. Lots of tomatoes coming in. Very compact plants. Looking really good. And I wish I could say the same for this tomato plant, but I can't. Um, I wasn't paying attention. This unit ran out of water. I don't know how long it was out of water, but uh, by the time I got to it, uh, pretty much all the leaves were dead on it. I did put some water in, it looks like it's recovered somewhat. Um, not a whole lot of foliage left. Lost a lot of fruit too, but some survived. Uh, this is sad, you guys. Um, this was my beautiful black eyed Susan. Um, and I think what happened here is, you know, our weather has taken a turn for the better. And two days in actual sun, not using, you know, the grow light that I had on it, just getting actual sun, fried this plant. It, it, it's, it's like crusty. It's so fried. So... Uh, I'm going to be cleaning this up and planting something else in this. It was beautiful while it lasted, though. Yeah, it turns out that uh, natural sunlight was just too much for this plant. After having been uh, grown by grow lights, for the past, since I think it was November I first planted this. So, I'm okay with it. It was beautiful and over here is that Oero uh, Kwai tomato. It's just getting taller, um, but all of the blooms, all the blossoms keep dying off. You can see here. Some about ready to fall off there. Um, but I got a lot of cuttings off this plant, so we'll see what, if anything, I can do. I am um, on the verge of pulling this plant because it's just been so unproductive. But we shall see, I have been uh, hand pollinating. I'm hoping to get something eventually. Lots of flowers on it, but it doesn't really matter if they all die off, right? So. this unit I have a bunch of uh, black seeded Simpson lettuce doing super good um, I've been eating on this since January uh, I think I first planted these seeds on New Year's Day so January 1st 2021 And I think today's date is March 14th, uh, 2021. 
in this unit I just have this uh, spindly little spinach here and a plant of lettuce leaf basil I've had this for a while I moved it from a different unit and I am ready to pull that and start a whole new garden in this unit what I don't know yet but I'm ready to do that in this unit I started some broccoli on March 7th so those are coming up and over here um, this was another one piece of broccoli this is celery that hasn't come up yet same here and then I didn't plant anything in here I was going to but I hadn't In this unit, I have um, cuttings from that tomato, and these are flowering. I don't have high hopes for it. <laughs> And I only have the two cuttings in this machine. These were just suckers that I took off that other plant. In this unit, I have my sage still going strong. And that's all that's in this. The I have some succulents up here getting some light, but that's about it. Same in here. In this unit, I have some more lettuces. I think these are Black Seeded Simpson, and then these are, I believe, all year round lettuces. And a small oregano plant. In this unit, still got Macolius. Still keeps outgrowing the machine. <laughs> I still keep taking cuttings and starting new plants. But uh, all as well over here. Over here I have those purple teepee beans and um, purple teepee beans and some other kind of bean in this I thought. We'll find out. Uh, but it's flowering. These are got some over here too. And then in this container, this one only has the purple teepee beans. And it is in production again. That's exciting. Um, oh look, one fell off. Uh, 
Um, I was wanting to learn how to save beans from this because I really loved it. Seeds, I mean. So, uh, I think I'm at the point where I can save the, the seeds from this. I mean, it's, it's pretty papery. Oh, okay, well. Seems pretty dry. Oh goodness. <laughs> They're just falling apart. <laughs> um, yeah, those look great. All right, it worked. All right, so that's how you do that, I guess, then, huh? Um, I will then go ahead and be eating the rest of these. Lots of beans in there. Very productive, uh, the purple teepee beans are. Much more productive than the, uh, what did I grow last? Uh, Dragon's Town. And I think they taste better too. So, cuckoo. So in here are some, these are some green wave mustards. I've uh, been harvesting from these for a while now. And some red giant mustards. Got two of those in this unit here and here. I haven't been home in a few days and I was had spotted before I left I had spotted the some aphids on one of these plants and uh, they took advantage of the days that I was gone because I don't know if you can see that but there's a few on there so I'll just wash those off in the sink um, my pink celery over here looks really good doesn't appear to have any aphids on it. So that's wonderful. Some more green wave mustards. Um, been harvesting off of those as you can see. All right, and then at the top, I started some all year round lettuce. I think these are I'm gonna try to move them outside. Um, over here are some uh, purple sprouting broccoli. And this one. This other one over here is considerably smaller than the other one. Uh, I think it's time for me to start hardening off and then seeing about moving them inside, I think. I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to check out some videos and see what the consensus is. <laughs> um, let's see, up here I have a lasagna pepper. And here are two little finger eggplants. There's two Ashvarsky peppers. And two patio baby eggplants. So that seed starting worked out well. The only thing that hadn't produced is, hasn't germinated yet is the cayenne peppers. And but actually, I think I see. Yep, there's a root. I don't think I can get it on camera, but there's a root. So I believe the cayenne is on the way. It was just slower than the others. Uh, in this tray, <clears throat> I 
I got this first row is parsley and it looks like I got germination in each one of the pellets. The second row is lavender. Really excited about that. Just about all of those um, germinated. In this third row, that is chamomile. Um, in this fourth row, that is white sage, and I don't see anything that sprouted over there. And then in this last row, along here, is lemon balm. I tried winter sowing for the first time. Um, I put these outside, I don't know when, during the winter sometime. At any rate, things have started sprouting. On the left are the, the dino kale, which looks great. In the center are some red giant mustards from seeds that I saved from last year, which look great. And then on the right should be some strawberry spinach, but nothing sprouted just yet. This was another um, seed sprouting, or I'm sorry, uh, winter sowing uh, experiment. I did not write down what it was, um, so that'll be a mystery. But some of the seeds have started to sprout in this container as well. A little bit earlier, I showed you guys the green wave mustards and the red giant mustards that was growing under the grow lights. This was the last harvest I had and it was absolutely beautiful and delicious as well. Believe it or not, some of my kale from uh, September of last year managed to overwinter. Here I have some blue scotch kale that uh, survived in a little rail planter. I even had a onion that I planted and uh, some a red giant mustard that survived the winter as well. In this bin is another blue scotch kale from September. Well, there's two plants in there that uh, are looking great actually. They survived the Ohio winter. These are troopers, man. And finally, I had one other container that had some blue scotch kale in it uh, that managed to survive the winter. It's looking pretty green. Still a little frozen in places, but it doesn't seem phased by it. <laughs> 